morning everybody and welcome to a new vlog it is bright and early today it has just gone past seven o'clock and i've decided i'm going to do a workout this morning i haven't done a workout in quite some time and it's definitely time for me to start picking it up again and working out my body. Jason is doing one this morning because Jason literally does one every single day. So I'm going to come along and do one at exactly the same time as him so I get motivated and actually do it. But we've got some exciting things happening today. So stick it around to watch all the fun stuff happening. Workout is done. I feel so good actually after doing that workout. I wasn't going to do one. Normally I don't like ever do a workout with Jason, but I've stopped going to the gym. I need to do more than yoga I think sometimes. So today I did a proper workout and it was good. I'm sweating so much. So I definitely need to have a shower today. If you want to know the workout we did, we did this. It's time to hit the shower and get ready. Out. So we are showered, dressed, put my makeup on and the first thing we need to do today before we go on our fun adventure, we need to go get this suit altered. Jason and I decided to hop into the car and go down for... <laughs> Jason and I decided to. <laughs> Amy decided to. Jason was sitting peacefully at home. <laughs> so I decided that it was time for us to get out of the house, hop into the car and go on a day trip all the way down to Bunbury. Jason's like, do we have to? I'm like, yes, we have to. So we're halfway there. I feel like we're kind of like deja vuing from like last time Jason was home when we went shopping and Jason didn't really want to go shopping, but secretly he wanted to go shopping and I still made him go. And it's kind of what's happening today. Hey. Just waiting for the day off. <laughs> just one on the belly off. So we've just got into Bunbury and uh, it's a little bit busy today. Just say that it's probably busy all the time, let's be honest. It is a holiday location. Uh, no, because I think it's its own town It's now. just its own town. Anyway, we're heading to a place to go get Cocoa Whip. And we're just walking around looking up some places. But um, yeah, it's quite interesting to come to Bunbury. Because I actually haven't, I don't think I've actually walked back. I found your Cocoa Whip place. In Bunbury, where? Straight ahead. There you go, we found our Cocoa Whip. Let's Four go five. get it. Thanks very much. Thank you. It's delicious. Amy got this chocolate one and I thought, oh, I'll just get the plain one. But Amy's was way better. And I think I ate about half of it. So we decided to make our way to the foreshore. And there's like no one here, so, well there's a fair few people here, but it's still not that packed, so. Let's see how the water feel. Hey, <laughs> so we've been bad vloggers, we put the camera in the back of the car and totally forgot put it in the console so we could actually vlog the rest of our day in Bunbury. But we totally forgot it. So it was in the boot the whole time we were driving home, everything. You miss really good fun stuff like us doing like kind of like karaoke on the way home. It's got us boringness back at home, but that is okay. It is four o'clock now and Jason's actually gone back out. He's gone to Bunnings to go get something for work. And he's also gone to go pick up his pants that we went and took to the altar. The altar? The alterations, whatever they, the tailors, whatever they're called, he's going to go pick them up um, right now. So that's where he is at the moment. Frederick's watching a little bit of TV in bed because, well, he hasn't watched TV all day. So I'm giving him a little bit of TV time before tea. So while Frederick is entertaining himself with the TV, I thought it would be time to sit down and talk to you guys something about me and Jason's relationship that I feel like will be very relatable to most of you guys if you're in relationships or 
if you're a FIFO part, like in the FIFO family yourself, you might relate to this quite a bit. But I don't really need to open up to you guys about our relationship a lot just because I like to keep mine and Jason's relationship quite private. It's not something I really need to open up about. There is something that I wanted to talk about because I feel like a lot of people will relate to the same thing that me and Jason go through every single time he comes home. Something as a FIFO family, we sacrifice quite a few things but one thing we do sacrifice is not getting enough me time Jason doesn't get it and I also don't and it's something that me and Jason clearly need to work on because we both need some me time away from each other away from Frederick and just having some time or doing something by ourselves without you know, the rest of the family there. Unfortunately, me and Jason are horrible at organizing something for ourselves and we're horrible at communicating with each other and saying, hey, I really want some me time this week or can I have, you know, a couple of hours where I go out or you go out for a couple of hours with Frederick so I can, you know, play the PlayStation or, you know, lay in bed or have a long bath or whatever. And me and Jason are really shitty at that and I feel like we should get better at that. It's just something that me and Jason need to work on in our relationship. Do you want to know if I'm alone on this or if you guys think that you could improve on how much you give your partner some me time and how much you get for me time? Surely I can't be alone. I can't be the only person that sucks at this. <laughs> time to water my plants because they need the goodness of water. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, look at my glorious corn, except for this little guy. I think he's he's not doing so well. But all the other ones are like looking really good and they're growing. Also, my blueberry tree is doing really well. The blueberry that we've got on it is slowly changing colour, so it's almost there, but I haven't seen any other blueberries pop up just yet. I think the next vegetables that we're going to get are spinach, kale, broccoli, and then we're going to get some bags to put in between the veggie boxes and get some bags for carrots and sweet potato and normal potato. And then hopefully we will soon add an apple tree in here and also an orange tree and hopefully like a mango. I really want a mango. I would love an avocado, but it takes like five years for their fruit to, sh to show up. And I go, I don't have time for wait for five years. I'm just gonna buy them. Soon our veggie garden and our fruit plants will all be ready and we'll fill up our garden and will make me so, so, so happy. Honestly, one thing I have wanted for so long is to grow my own veggies and fruit and it's slowly coming to life. We've literally lived here for four years and we've had those boxes in the garden for almost three years now and we haven't touched them. We finally touched them this year. So I am looking forward to having our own fruit and veggie really, really, really soon. Also the other day, my friend Alora came over and she was so kind and she brought this basil and I've decided to put him in a jar that Jason was using for his coffee. Well, it had coffee in it from the shop. So I was just like, I'm going to reuse this because I'm good and I'm not going to put it in the recycling. So I decided to use it for my basil and the basil's actually going really well. There's like three little shoots in it, but he's going really well and I'm really happy. And I have to say thank you so much, Alora, for getting me some basil. I'm going to go get some like other herbs so I can get them all in jars like this and have them all on my kitchen bench and just grab them instead of having like these herbs up here 
I'm just gonna have fresh herbs because let's be honest, fresh is so much better than the dried stuff. I haven't told any of you guys but I actually enrolled back into my childcare course because I was thinking about going back to work oh we were at, I was actually planning to go back to work in a month or so to do a couple of days a week just to get um, some pocket money for myself and <laughs> and I went to my old work and they're like yeah you can come back everything like that I just got the bad news that the lady that was like the boss of that place has now just left and now <laughs> there might not be a chance I can go back to my old place and it's it's a little bit annoying because I was so looking forward to going back to my old work and everything like that and now there's a chance I might not be able to <laughs> The setbacks happen unfortunately and maybe it happened for a reason. Maybe this happened because I wasn't meant to work there or I wasn't meant to work with those people. I have no idea. But hopefully something good comes out of it. Hopefully just our YouTube takes off and I don't have to go back to work. Um, but that's probably a very low chance of that happening. But if you guys want to support us more and hopefully get us more income to the YouTube world to let me stay home for longer, that would be appreciated. <laughs> I would love that so, so, so much. So if you wanna do that, share our videos, comment them all the time, share them with your parents and family on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, everything. Just plug our channel so much. That way we can get more people in and I can stay here and keep on creating content for you guys. That's the only way that's going to happen is if you plug our channel for us as much as possible, just as much as I plug our channel for us. We're not going to lie, Jason is pretty pumped about it. He was getting so excited about me going back to work and earning my own money and getting a little bit of extra money so we could save a little bit more to go on holidays and all that kind of stuff. And then this happens. So Jason's a little bit bummed. Hey. Oh, 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 is that funny for Jason you? is very bummed about this, but it happens for a reason and we'll figure it out it out soon and hopefully it just means this wasn't meant to happen because something <laughs> bigger and better was going to happen. Hopefully. That's positive attitude. Thinking, like thinking positive about this bad situation that we're in right Look now. Look at my hair. Look at your hair. What is going on? You need a haircut. Do you reckon? Yeah. You said the other day, you're like, yeah, I need to get a haircut. Just the sides. I think the sides are, like, the top's fine. But yeah. just your sides to make it look a little bit more fancy. Anyway, I think we're going to get going so we that? can cook some tea because I'm starving. Are you starving? Are you starving? I'm uh, Yeah? Is Daddy starving? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we hope you all enjoyed this video. Bye. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up because it's going to help us so, so, Bye. so much. And we'll see you guys all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you guys.